Oh, yes, uh, we'd like to recognize a distinguished majority floor leader from the great province of Bulacan, Senator Joel Villanueva. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Mr. President, dear colleagues, it is this representation's honor and privilege to co-sponsor Senate Bill Number 1869 under Committee Report Number 28, creating the Philippine Center for Disease Prevention and Control, or CDC, one of the priority measures of this administration. In fact, Mr. Mr. President, this was also subject of our uh, uh, pre-LEDAC meeting uh, held this morning together with the Senate President, Senator Subiri, Senator Loren Legarda, our Senate President Pro Tempore, Senator Sani Angara in this representation. Mr. President, recognize the importance of strengthening our healthcare system to protect our people from current and emerging health emergencies. This representation also filed Senate Bill Number 1477, which is one of the measures considered in the committee report. Again, let me take this opportunity to commend and thank the sponsor, Senator Pia Cayetano, for working very, very hard on this very, very important piece of legislation. Mr. President, it has been three years since our country recorded its first COVID-19 case. Since then, the total number of confirmed cases in the Philippines has reached more than 4 million while the reported death toll to the virus is now at more than 65,000. The pandemic has also driven the country to its worst economic performance since World War II, with gross domestic product falling by 9.5% in 2020. About 4.5 million Filipinos have lost their jobs in the same year, with unemployment rate skyrocketing to 10.4%, the highest in 15 years, Mr. President, due to the pandemic and lockdown measures affecting thousands of businesses. Mr. President, we do not want a repeat of this in the future, in our future. Our people have suffered enough. We have seen the necessity of strengthening our healthcare system to ensure that massive loss of lives and jobs will no longer happen should we experience another health emergency of this scale. We need to be prepared as a new study which appeared in the proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences of the United States of America, found that the probability of a pandemic with a similar impact to COVID-19 is about 2% in any year, and the probability of experiencing a pandemic similar to COVID-19 in one's lifetime is about 38%. Mr. President, we need to immediately pass this measure which seeks to establish the Philippine CDC, the agency under the Department of Health's Office of the Secretary, shall be the technical authority on forecasting, analysis, strategy, and standards development for the prevention and control of all diseases of public health importance and health security events, whether domestic or international in origin. A whole of system, whole of government, and whole of society approach anchored on science-based decision-making during public health emergencies is aimed to be adopted through this measure. Mr. President, sabi nga po nila, health is wealth. We need to put in place measures to ensure that what happened in the past three years, loss of lives, loss of jobs, loss of income because of global pandemic does not happen again. COVID-19 remains a threat. We are still reeling from its impact. And the last thing we need uh, is to be caught unprepared to address another public health emergency in the future. It is high time that we invest in our healthcare system to promote and protect the health and well-being of our fellow Filipinos.